What's up, Billy Pops? Welcome back to my channel, and I have the most exciting news I've ever had in my life. And I feel like the title ruins it because you already know what it is, but <laughs> I am getting a nose job, and this is something that I have wanted for like 10 years. Like anyone who's known me in the past 10 years, and I tell them I'm getting one, they're like, finally, like please, you've wanted one forever. So I'm finally doing it. I am terrified, but way more excited than I am terrified. I also want to mention first that if you don't like plastic surgery or you're really against it um, and you're just here to comment negative things and tell me that my nose was better before or anything like that, I really don't want to hear it. Um, I'm excited. This is something that I have decided for me. No way is this video to promote plastic surgery. Um, this is just something that I've always wanted done and I've watched so many nose job vlogs that have really helped me prepare. It's just my contribution because I've seen so many so I feel like I need to make one to just like add to the collection because I literally think I've seen every single one on YouTube. <laughs> Today is my two week mark from surgery. I am getting so nervous, but I feel so prepared and I trust my surgical team with my literal life. Okay, so where am I getting this done? I am getting my nose job done in Toronto. I was going to fly all the way to Turkey because if you know anything about nose jobs, you probably know that Turkey is one of the top places to get a rhinoplasty. However, obviously I'm getting my surgery done in Toronto instead. Nothing, to the do no, nothing about the doctor in Turkey. He's literally so talented, but he is so far away and I have like, I have a bit of travel anxiety plus like it was giving me a lot of anxiety, the thought to like travel that far, get surgery, come home and then like if something went wrong, like I can't get in contact with him, like X, Y, Z, like it was just a lot of like really, like a lot of things that were really nervous for me, nerve wracking for me. So when I found my doctor in Toronto, it was game over for me. I'm like amazing, done, I'm not going to Turkey and I booked with him um, literally like when I had my consultation, I was like, yeah, book me in. If you are interested in going to Turkey though, and you're looking for a really good doctor, I would really recommend the guy that I was gonna go see, um, which is Dr. Orhan Yusal, I believe it is. I'll put the spelling here so that you can look him up, but his noses are stunning and all he does is rhinoplasty. So I was, I was, yeah, I was really set on him. So if you're looking for a good doctor in Turkey, I would highly recommend him, have only heard good things. Um, but yeah, moving on. This is not something that I'm like, oh, I'll just get a nose job. Like, oh, whatever, let's just get a rhinoplasty. Like, no, it's something that I've been thinking about for over a year, like seriously actually doing it. And it's something that I've wanted for like 10 years. So um, definitely plastic surgery is never like a quick, easy decision. You are changing your body forever. And um, I trust this doctor literally with my life. And I know that is going to be a good result, but you have to have full faith in your doctor because it's your face. It gets literally your face. It's nothing to play around with. Um, so I'm, my advice, if you're thinking about one, just really make sure that you know what you're doing, that you've thought this through like so, so much and you know that you for sure want it. When I had my pre-op appointment though, they did give me a digital before and after. So I'll put that up on the screen now. Ta-da! Like she's gorgeous. I literally, ah, I'm so in love with her. I am so excited. To me, it's a big difference, but like some people I feel like won't even notice it on me. Um, I'm so excited. I'm about to get real up close and personal because I'm gonna show you what I don't like about my nose. So oh, I can't believe I'm actually about to show you the left side of my face, but okay, so here, here we are. Here's the left side of my face. I have a big ass bump right here and some people are like, it's not that big. Don't let it be. Okay, I have a big bump here. I find like my tip is like kind of droopy and like a little big, honestly. Just not, like if, I, if I'm being really critical, which like obviously I am. I mean real close and personal, okay? <laughs> so if you look, <laughs> if you look on my nose, you can tell that it is crooked. Like one side is definitely like deviated. Um, so he's fixing my septum as well, but he's also taking a piece of cartilage from my ear and building it up into the left side of my nose because it like sits lower. And so bringing it up will actually like, cause I hate the left side of my nose and like that's why, cause it's like longer basically. So that's gross and the surgery's gonna be like five hours because of the whole ear thing. Um, I almost passed out when he was explaining that to me. I was like, I literally need to lie down. I'm gonna throw up. He's like, okay, that's great. And my best friend who's a nurse was there with me. She's like, yeah, tell me more. And I'm like, please no, please. <laughs> So the reason I was actually going to go to Turkey because when I was doing my research, um, I realized that I really wanted a ultrasonic rhinoplasty or piezo rhinoplasty, which essentially um, right now how they do nose jobs still is with like a hammer and a chisel and they like kind of break the bone and like, anyways, 
Ultrasonic rhinoplasty is, it's like a little device called Piso, um, and they just shave it down instead of like going with hammer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I really wanted that and I couldn't find anyone in Canada um, or like the States, honestly, who did it and who I liked the results. So that's why I was gonna go to Turkey. And after, I don't know how I didn't see um, my doctor in the first like 17,000 searches that I did, but I didn't. And then eventually I did find him and I'm like, oh, he does ultrasonic rhinoplasty, he's in Toronto, he slays, his results are gorgeous. Like I'm sold. So I booked a phone consultation, I loved the nurse and then I booked a real consultation and I was sold. So I booked it and it's on March 29th. He's also doing a septoplasty because I'm a deviated septum and I can't wait to breathe that much better. So this video is going to be my entire experience of my rhinoplasty. I wanna be super tr transparent with you guys and I just want you to see this experience if you're considering a rhinoplasty or if you're healing from one. I feel like I'm gonna watch all of these vlogs again when I'm healing. I feel like it just like will help me not feel so alone. Um, so now I just, I'm just gonna take you guys through the entire experience right um, going into surgery. Obviously I'll film what I can and then after surgery, I'm gonna have my best friend and my boyfriend film for me and we're gonna recover together. So I'm super nervous, but I will probably be back the night before surgery and that's when I'll revisit this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or DM them to me on Instagram at Evie Andrews um, and I'll do another like Q&A video after because I'm sure people will have a lot of questions. Good morning, it is March 29th, aka my surgery day. <laughs> As you can see, I look really, really cute and sexy. That was part of the um, rules. You had to look really good when you show up. So obviously that is what I've done. Most importantly, let's look one more time at the original nose. Had everyone say bye-bye. So Chico is warming up my little setup here for me. Um, that's my wedge pillow and I put another blanket up there um, just so I can like sit up but still be super comfy. I have my PJs that Emma got me laid out and ready to go. I have extra sink Tylenol right here. I have my lip balm. I have dry mouth tablets. Um, my mouth is already so dry because I can't drink water after midnight. Um, and then I have all my other goodies in there. That's a duvet because my best friend is coming to take care of me, so she's gonna sleep on the couch. There's my Nick pillow. It's not really organized, but you get you get the point. I feel better. This is the fit. Um, I'm wearing my Crocs because I figured it would be the easiest to slide on after. And here we go. My boyfriend Q is with me. I look so pale. Um, on our way to the Yorkville Plastic Surgery Clinic. <sighs> Everybody breathe. Everybody breathe, please. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited, but I'm so freaking nervous. But I'm more excited. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Thank you. Good. Stay in the left lane. Excited? Yeah. Woohoo! New nose! We have arrived. How do you feel, Q? I feel good. I, I feel, feel really stressed! But I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's go! It's happening! It's happening! Okay, this is like my little waiting room. It's so cute. Okay, so I have my gown. And they give me little socks too, so I'm gonna get changed and I'll be back. Okay, but this kind of gives. It's kind of slang. This just got so real. I am freaking out. But I'm really excited. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, girly pops? I'm out of surgery. I'm in a little pain, I'm not gonna lie. The where my bump was on my nose really hurts and I'm really sleepy. Um, but Q came and got me. And the nurse Sydney, who was like the post op nurse, I literally would die for her. She's the sweetest thing in the world. I just wanna go back to sleep, I'm so tired. Also, yuck, but luckily took shit from my ear. Can you see it? Okay. Um, 
Yeah, my friend Brooke's on her way. Maybe. Yeah, Brooke's on her way. I can already see him like, getting a bit swollen. My eyes are kind of red. So I might bruise a bit, but that's okay. Sydney said though that she saw my nose on the operating table. And she said it looks so good. She said I look like Cindy Kimberly, which is like the nose job queen. Like her nose is so nice, so. All is good. I have never looked better in my life. This is disgusting. I can't even talk, my voice is like so messed up. Um, it's day two and yesterday, like yeah, yesterday is my surgery day. Um, I like everything I've heard about nose jobs, everyone says that it hurt is just uncomfortable because I'm in pain. Um, but I think that's just cause I had to get Ew! I had to get shit taken from my ear and put under my nose and that's the only part that actually hurts. So I think if you're just getting a regular nose job without the, like, without getting cartilage from anywhere, then I feel like it wouldn't hurt because nothing else hurts. Uh, I slept last night. I wasn't expecting to. I took a melatonin and I woke up, like, starting at, like, midnight. I probably went to bed at, like, 10 and then starting at midnight, I woke up, like, every hour. But I would sleep every hour, so it's fine. I found an angel in the world. Brooke Hi. is taking care of me. <laughs> she woke up every hour with me and made sure I have my meds. Like she, she's a nurse, and she's literally the best, the best person in the world. So I wouldn't die without her. So I'm very, very happy that she's here. Um, <clears throat> my throat is so dry. But yeah, I think that is the update so far. I'm just gonna try to get some rest. I think we're gonna watch some Love is Blind. And I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna have like a little two minute shower because I'm allowed to have a two minute shower. Yeah, day two, whatever. But the video that my surgeon took in the OR is stunning. Like it's so pretty, so. I don't even care how much pain I'm in right now. The nose is so freaking pretty. I don't have a bump anymore. Um, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, everything's fine. Yeah. We're doing Vaseline on the stitches. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at my one eye. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Q said it looks like I got in a fight and I did not win. That's very accurate. So first of all, this hairstyle is perfect. Um, I am so bruised and so swollen. Don't mind coming on into the background. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Um, I've been taking my pain meds because a bitch is in pain. Um, but I can really feel like the splints in my nose and it doesn't feel good. It feels like you jumped into a pool and like didn't plug your nose to get like water off of your nose. Like that's what it feels like, but like it doesn't go away, which is really fun. So that's all I just, um, my boyfriend's been making me smoothies. I had some mashed potatoes and that's pretty it, pretty much it. Hey, it is 5.25. The swelling and the bruising just keeps getting better and better. By that I mean worse and worse. Um, my two best friends are here. This is Tamachi. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> what up, YouTube? Oh, they both made me laugh and I can't laugh right now. It hurts, but... Are you not allowed to laugh? Or it just, just hurts. hurts to laugh? It just hurts because okay, like, my stitches just pull. Really no, 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 it just hurts. Laugh. You can't laugh, no. I can. It just hurts. So... Yeah, I've been icing at the top of every hour, taking my little pain meds. I look so spooky, but uh, surviving. Hi. Ta da. That's all I got. Yeah. The swelling never ends. Holy crap. It looks like I got in a fight and I lost really badly. I surprisingly am actually starting to feel a bit better. You would be able to tell by the looks of it. My ear just really hurts. Sorry, this is this is a warning. This is really gross. But my ear is like 
I need to focus on you. Yeah, my ears cut out of the Um. I can't, oh my god, my lips are swollen too, please. But, at least I have cute PJs. Shout out to Emma. Um, and we're watching John Tucker Must Die. Brooke just left, but Tommy's here and Sasha's on her way. So I have lots of love and support, which I'm so thankful for. And Q is making me craft dinner because I think I should be able to eat that. It's really hard to swallow and I cannot stop burping. And I've never heard anyone have that issue, but just, just thought I'd let you know all what's going on. Um, and she has not left my side, I'll show you. Literally has not been more than like a foot away from me this entire time. Nothing if not dedicated to this vlog. Um, so this is day three. Okay. I literally don't even look like myself. I just look like a puffy little fish. I don't know. Oh, not the cheeks swollen too. Oh, oh my god. Thankfully, I have had no trouble sleeping, which I was really worried about, honestly, because from other vlogs. Oh, I don't want to yawn. Uh, from other vlogs that I've seen, everyone says like sleeping is really hard, but I've just been popping like 10 milligram melatonin, and I've been sleeping like a baby. Um, I just wake up like the first night I woke up every hour, and last night I only woke up once to pee. Um, my mouth is just really dry because I can't breathe through my nose, but it hurts to swallow. Also, my throat hurts, but like. Say lovey, you know, I feel like that kind of comes with this. Well, I stood up, it's raining outside. I'm on my balcony. Oh my god, it looks even cuter in the light, don't you think? I literally promise I will never complain about having eye bags ever again. I don't even look like myself, this is crazy. Back to the couch we go. The instructions said today to start standing up and walking a bit, so I try. I keep having to yawn. And I try. <laughs> so look how cute this is. I got like a little gift bag from a surgery clinic, and I got a little cup and a straw. I just woke up from a nap. It is still day three, and somehow my cheeks got more swollen during my nap. I feel like a part of this that people don't like. Kind of prepare you for is like there's also like a huge mental side of this like it's like like I honestly can't believe I look like this a and b like I've literally been on the couch for three days now. It's funny as it sounds like it actually is so draining just like being in pain for that long and just like having to sit there and just kind of like distract yourself through it. Um, I don't know, I'm just like finding it kind of tough now. Like I literally just want to cry for no reason. Um, but I started a car last night and it made everything so much worse because it just makes you so stuffy. But I'm just going through it right now. Like I literally just, I want this to be better. My stitches are like really hurting. And I just, honestly I don't even care that I look like this. It's really not that, like that's not really what's bothering me. It's just like, I'm just really sick of being in pain. Here, you can be part of the Vaseline the stitches. You're cute. Oh. oh my god. At least the bruising is kind of going yellow now. I ran out of gauze that they gave me. So this is just gauze that I got from the dollar store. And then we just... That is the finished result. I think she slays. Somebody likes my frozen peas. I think that he is a really genuine person. He is. If you want this with him. This is the icing, but this is too cute. I just wanted to make a note that I got these like extra strong melatonin. It's like max melatonin. And I think that's why I've been able to sleep. So I'm gonna pop that maybe. I was probably gonna can't really chew that well, but um, I would really recommend getting these if you're getting your nose done. I just wanted to make a note that I literally have the best boyfriend in the entire world, in the whole wide world. 
He has literally been taking the best care of me and I just feel so loved and taking care of like I just ugh, I just love him so much. I would cry about it if it would literally kill my face. Um, but yeah, I would definitely suggest having someone with you through this process who you trust to take care of you. Oh my god, no. <sighs> Please, the yachts are so funny. Um, but yeah, just had to have someone to take care of you. Um, just because you definitely will need someone. I can't imagine doing this by myself. Like, I personally could do it. Good morning on day four. Um, I woke up at two last night just because my body decided I had to have like a cute little anxiety attack, which was really fun. Um, and I could get back to sleep and my ear hurt so bad. Like I woke up with like literally the worst pain in my ear. So my angel boyfriend Q got up and got me ice and I took a Tylenol and then that wasn't doing shit because my ear was in a lot of pain and I was getting really anxious. I'm just like sick of feeling like this. I think like I'm just like, it's mentally like draining. Um, it was just a lot of like sitting around feeling like crap. Like it's just, oh my God. Oh, I hate yawning. But the bruising has definitely like gone down. I can't believe it like this. Okay, I finally had my, had my second shower. Um, my stitches kind of hurt like along here is like pain. But overall, the pain is getting a lot better. I just finished my little green smoothie. Um, and I'm not wearing my PJs. I also crochet. Um, and I washed, washed my face. I took like a cotton pad and like some micellar water and just kind of like gently washed around. I put contacts in for the first time so I could actually like see everything now. It's crazy. Um, yeah. The swelling of my eyes has definitely gone down so much. It's pretty much all of my cheeks. I just look like a little chipmunk, which is super cute. But honestly, cute. I literally, I'm gonna marry that man. Like he, I could not ask for someone to take better care of me. Like he is just amazing. I asked for a special treat and he brought me three different cookies. Hey, I love you. <laughs> You're the best in the world. Ah. Okay, so something good has come out of this, obviously other than my soon to be a nice nose. I crocheted a little top. So cute. Okay, day five, here we are. Um, I am feeling the best that I have felt today. Uh, we just tried to clear up, clean up my ear, but it's okay. Um, the bruising is definitely more yellow today, which slays, because that means it's getting better. Um, we just put Vaseline on my stitches. I cleaned it, did a little nasal rinse. Real hot girl shit. Um, and yeah. I slept through the night last night. Big sleigh. Big freaking sleigh. I'm so happy, finally. Um, I woke up at like eight, but still, like that's better than like two, three the first night. I woke up every hour. Not sleigh. But honestly, they're killing it. This is an end of day five update for you. I don't know why I have bruising here. Cause like, why? For literally what? Um, but the bruising under my eye is yellow now, which is good. Um, I would just really love to not look like a freaking chipmunk anymore, but c'est la vie. And it is day six. Um, we're doing great. We're still looking like a freaking chipmunk. And I messaged my surgeon and he said that that is normal for two weeks. Two. Please, I'm gonna look like this for two weeks. I started a new job on Monday. It is Monday today, so I have a week. And my surgery was last Wednesday. So it'll be two days shy of two weeks. So I really, really hope that this goes like way down before I start a new job. Cause like, that'd be so embarrassing. Like, hello, I'm Alvin the friggin' chipmunk. Nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, no pain. I didn't even take Tylenol yesterday, except for at night. Cause like, my splints started bugging me. Um, but yeah, no pain. Tomorrow is cast off day and I'm so excited. Not like, I don't know, like I'm excited, but like it's not gonna be like some crazy reveal. Cause like, 
uh, is so freaking swollen. So like it's, I'm just gonna be able to see like the basic shape, not like actually what it's gonna look like. So it'll be quite a while until I see the actual like results because there's so much swelling, but I will take you with me tomorrow. <laughs> It's day seven and I'm going to get my cast off. Look at the mascara, the brows. I'm kind of looking like a person. I am so excited and I gotta take you with me, don't you worry. So let's go get this cast off. But I kind of like, I never like my left side, but like look at that shape. Okay, obviously don't look at my face, but like the shape of the nose. She kind of slays. Just like. The fit, I'm not wearing pajamas for the first time in seven days. And we're back. What's up? We're here to get the cast off. That's so exciting. Was that so bad? No. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Sorry. Not very brave. Oh my god, I feel like I did pass out. She's had like a panic attack getting the stitches out, but it's okay. She's good. She's oh my good. god, it's so pretty though. It's pretty. But very swollen, especially at the bridge. Oh my god. But it looks really nice. Oh my god, she's stunning. Yeah. Very pretty. Look how straight that nose is now. Oh my god. <laughs> Massive change there. Holy crap. Oh my god, like even swollen is gorgeous. It looks really good. You look so good. I am obsessed. Are you? Oh my god. Looks amazing. It looks so amazing. Yeah, it looks so good. Like I was expecting to like not like it today and just yeah. like waiting for the swelling yeah. to go down, but like no, I'm obsessed. You're not even too bruised. Not too bad, no. Yeah, just jip you. That's it. I don't even care. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's so good. It's so fun. Oh Hi. my god. Sorry, this is April Gooden. Nice to meet you. I heard your voice and I wanted to come see it. Are you happy? I am so happy. It looks I'm just so such a little bitch good. with pain, but like. I know, but you weren't. Oh, you weren't I know. <laughs> she did good. Look at her. She, it's amazing. Very pretty. Oh my god, you're literally a magician. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So let's go over it. I guess, you know, it's worthwhile if you're filming it. We may as well just go over it. So okay, yeah. the things that we see, the last thing that goes in all of rhinoplasty yeah. is this width. Okay. okay. So this takes a couple of months, if okay. not six months, to really start to come down and narrow this way. Okay. <clears throat> you're going to notice a little bit of fullness here. Yep. When we talk about swelling after rhinoplasty. It's frontal view, but it's mostly the side view. So you okay. feel like you have a little bit of bogginess here. Yeah. That's normal. Okay. A little bit of swelling here, very normal. Okay. And then swelling at the tip. So you don't really see any light reflexes hitting here. Right. You see a little ball there when I put my yeah. eye on it. Yeah. But you should start to see much brighter and very well defined light reflexes. Okay. To show that the cartilage underneath is really nicely pushing up against the skin. Okay. As time goes on. Okay, so those are the major changes. Yeah. It's like not even that upturn, but it'll drop maybe, you know, a degree or two as okay. time goes on. But, but uh, I can feel like smile. <laughs> it's a very this weird This is thing. nice though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two weeks or so is oh, okay. so That's feel not bad. a lot more normal. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Cool. So for the incision lines, they're all really beautiful and nice. That's just where the knots were. Yeah. So all you're going to do is make sure that you clean it with a very small amount of peroxide today, probably okay. alone. Vaseline for two more days until those guys close up. Okay. And now we're Monday, so on Wednesday you start using scar gel. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. That's it. It's I pretty. really don't want to take the stencil, but yeah. it's okay. I know we have them. Okay. We could leave them in forever if you okay, want. Okay, that'd be really nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Cool. I'm, I so I'm just gonna cut this guy. So we did a little radix graft there. That's the root of your nose. Okay. My kind of aesthetic is a longer, more feminine nose yeah. instead of a, like a very small, scoopy one. Um, so that causes. I don't know that I will ever match this level of happiness again in my life. Oh my god! Oh my god, she's stunning. She's so. You're lying. I don't even care that I look like a freaking chipmunk right now. Oh my god. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Oh my god, I can't smile. Look at this, my smile. Please. But he said after two weeks, I'll be able to smile. So only one more week and then I can smile. 
That doesn't look terrifying. But. Oh my god. I could die. Yuck. Beautiful. What are your opinions? I love it. Isn't it so cute? It is I think day nine today and I am all finished with all my appointments and she's just getting more and more gorgeous by the day. Um, not a flex, but I quite literally have perfect nostrils, just in case you're wondering. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. My healing's done. And then the next time I'll check in with you guys probably will be like two months um, and I'll do a Q and A as well. So if you guys have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram at Evie Andrews or you can leave comments and I will make sure to answer every question. I've already gotten a ton so far, but I'm sure there's more. So if you have any questions, DM me or comment and I will answer them. Okay, let's take one more look at her. This is nine days post-op, literally crazy. This is the below angle or the above angle, oops. There are a few things that I want to mention that I didn't mention so far. Um, just a bit like the staff at uh, Dr. Rossi's clinic. Few things. So when I was going into surgery, like when Dr. Rossi's like watch, walking me into the OR, he's like, um, what music do you want to listen to like when you're going to sleep? And I was like, can it be anything? And he's like, anything. I'm like, are you sure anything? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> He's like, no problem. And he like asked like Siri to put it on. And so I went to sleep listening to Thought Shit and not the clean version, full explicit. And everyone's just like minding their business. Like, oh yeah, just setting things up. Like just completely ignoring it. I'm like, thanks guys. They're real ones. Um, and then when I was going to, when I was getting the needle in, I was like, I hate needles. Like I'm terrified of needles um, and it hurts. It's just not fun. So I told the anesthesiologist, I was like, I'm really bad with needles. And he was like, I'm really good at needles. And only one of us has to be. And I'm like, true. And then I asked the OR nurse whose name is Alex and she's an angel. I was like, I'm really bad with needles. Like, can I hold your hand? And she's like, oh my God, yeah. And she like held my hand and was like distracting me and everything like that. Like just the sweetest in the world. Um, and then also my nurse, my recovery nurse, Sydney, who was like with me before and after, um, she's the one who wheeled me out to the car. Um, she afterwards, I was like, I, I don't really, like I don't remember everything, but like I do remember being like, sorry I say slay so much. Like it's a condition. And she's like, oh my God, no. And then she started saying it. I don't know, like to make me feel better. But she was like, oh yeah, like I was in the OR after and like I saw your nose and like it slays so hard. And she's like, you're slaying, like you're good. And I was like, oh my God, she was so cute. Um, so yeah, just like, honestly, I cannot say enough positive things about the team um, at Dr. Rossi's clinic. So if you are looking to get a rhinoplasty and you want to get one in Toronto and you want your nose to quite literally slay as hard as you possibly can, um, you would literally be so silly to go anywhere else. So message me if you have any questions about the clinic at all. I will, I'm more than happy to talk about it because I love them so much. So. But yeah, I think that is where I'm going to end it today. And again, just if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.